first memories I have of playing baseball were probably playing t-ball over on 232nd, uh, those little parks, the water park over there, and just um, you know having a, having a good time with it. It was fun. Probably realized when I was serious, about 16 years old. You know, I was always uh, had a natural knack for playing ball, but I never really took it to the next level until I really got into the gym and um, dedicated myself to the sport. And uh, that's where it really turned around for me. Started to play for Langley, and I was seeing guys getting offers to Division One colleges, you know, getting drafted, and um, you know, it really motivated me. I think it really lit something up inside of me that made me want to pursue this as a career. And I didn't really realize what was involved until maybe you know late into my grade 12 year when I started to really come on and get these the same offers that other kids before me were getting. So you know, I was I'm you know grateful enough to have been able to perform in showcases down south where I have gotten Division I uh, offers. I was able to get drafted and you know, um, just perform at the specific levels that I was at to get to single A, double A, and triple A. And Tyler, when he started off in ball, he, uh, with any sport he played, um, nobody would believe this now, but uh, he was always the smallest kid. Uh, nobody would look at him now and go, wow, how could he ever be small? But uh, he was just a little kid, but uh, he had uh, a lot to try. Uh, a lot of his coaches said more try than anybody else, and that's what made him successful. And plus he had uh, just a natural ability uh, to play any sport, pick it up. And some sports he played, like lacrosse, soccer, um, started with baseball and or hockey. He was always small. Uh, and he was never the best kid on the team, but half the season goes by and, and he's one of the top two, three kids on the team. It's, uh, he just has a, a crazy uh, ability to adapt, to learn, and to excel uh, with anything he's ever picked up. Um, I actually watched him play his first uh, game when he played for Bakersfield. I think that was his first or second year in the minors. He was struggling to play at the first game and I could see him out in left field on the sideline where the dugout was. The reason why he is where he is today, he's mentally tough. He never has a thought in his head that he got beaten. He knew what he had to do to get the job done. And that's what you need in today's uh, game of baseball is being mentally tough to get to the next level. You got so many players that want to play. But that's probably one of the big successful things that he has. He's got a good frame of mind, very tough. Last couple of years, they've been really fun for me. You know, I'd probably throw it back to uh, 2015 when I had a little bit of a breakout season over in California. And then, uh, of course, uh, the heroic double-A season that me and my team had winning the championship. That was, that was fun. We even won it again last year, too. I came over to Memphis, and they were first in the league, and we ended up winning the PCL. I'm just so grateful to be able to be in these opportunities that I've given myself and other people have offered me with. You know, I just want to ride with it, man. I just want to go in the spring and see what happens.